Hey folks, plenty of sunshine and a little windy across the valley this afternoon. This is where we stand right now. 103 in Rio Grande City, Edinburgh and McAllen both at 99. Move closer to the coast, it's a little cooler. 91 in Port Isabel, Brownsville's 94. Add the humidity in, this is what it feels like. With the exception of Port Isabel, it feels like it's over 100 every place across the valley right now. And wind gusts this last hour, over 30 miles an hour in some locations, close to that in most places. So it's not only been warm and humid, but rather windy across the area this afternoon as well. Overnight tonight, we bottom out in the upper 70s again. No real surprise in that. Some places probably not getting below 80. And then tomorrow, back up to about 101 in McAllen, about 98 in Westlaco. 89 should be high on the island tomorrow. So another warm and humid day. And yes, rather breezy again tomorrow as well. Normal highs 97. We're going to stay above that 98, 98, 99. The records all 103 for the next three days. So we probably won't reach those. Doppler network was a little busy yesterday, but today there's nothing out there. Very quiet across across the region. A few clouds showing up, but that's about it. And they're moving away as we speak. The system responsible for yesterday's rain has since moved out of the weekend rain and we end up the next couple of days mainly dry. I think tomorrow might be enough moisture for a spotty shower on the sea breeze during the afternoon hours, but most areas probably staying dry. And I think Wednesday is a mainly dry day again with again something isolated can't be ruled out. Thursday another mainly dry day. Just don't see a whole lot. So we're going spotty shower tomorrow. 10 percent on the sea breeze, mainly dry Wednesday and then dry by the time we get to Thursday. Look at the rest of South Texas, 95 in San Antonio right now. Laredo's 103, Falfurious checking in at 97 degrees. Push back, look at the rest of the state. I think it's raining in Dallas, 74, 85 in San Angelo, Galveston at 89. And right there's what's going on in North Texas. You see the showers and thunderstorms moving right across the top of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And uh, South Texas is not seeing much. The upper end of Serpent sitting up here, the same one that caused the rain here over the weekend, is now lifting away. And with it, all we have left is enough moisture for maybe a sea breeze shower, but probably nothing more than that. So it looks like the next few days are mainly dry, no big rain event mainly hot with temperatures slowly creeping back up to an average closer to 100 degrees. Here's a picture of the U.S., but let's go out in the Atlantic. We're watching one system that's kind of meandering around. The middle of the Atlantic Ocean has a slight chance of developing, but down in the main zones of the tropics, absolutely nothing. So tonight, partly cloudy, warm and muggy, low of 79. Southeast winds, then tomorrow we jump back up to 98 degrees. Plenty of sunshine, hot and breezy. About a 10% chance for maybe a quick passing shower. So here you go, 98, 98, 99. Then it goes up from there. By the time you get to the weekend, first to next week, back to 100. But the rain chances, the best chances tomorrow, and even that, only 10%. That is your updated first one five forecast.